Hello, my name is Freddy Vega. I came from the exotic land of South America, Colombia, and I'm here to talk about how we are living in the best era of humanity ever, and that's thanks to education, mainly online education. There's a lot of people talking about online education. Coursera is incredible, edX is amazing. There are something called massive online open courses. It's like MMORPGs, but without the multiplayer part. They're doing great things, but Online education can be so, so much more. This story starts in 2004. I wanted to learn PHP. There was such an era when PHP was cool. I went ahead and used PHP to create Crystal App, a community of web designers and developers. That community grew a lot. We are right now at 2 million unique visitors per month. So we decided to create another company. With Christian Vanderhens, a guy over there, we created Mejorandola. Mejorandola is a company dedicated to organize courses around Spain and Latin America. Courses about HTML5, Node.js, Python, we started in 2010, and we already done three courses around 12 countries. And we teach 3,000 students all of these technologies, HTML5, Python, Node.js. We wanted to bring them the best, not just the PHP course. I'm sorry about all the PHP lovers. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> these courses are great, and they started to grow incredibly, incredibly popular because we were doing something different. For example, I think that copying from the projector or from a whiteboard is medieval. So we have a central server and all the things to copy. Traveling post 9-11 absolutely sucks. And we were traveling to a different country each week. I was tired of travel, and I wanted to fix online education with the multiplayer part. So what's wrong with that massive online open course that we have right now? Right now, uh, massive online open courses are a specialized CMS for text and video. And sadly, nothing more. They're doing a great job of bringing the best content on big, huge brand schools to all people for free. But they are lacking the connection to students. Coursera right now has a retention rate of 7%. edX and Udacity has similar numbers. That means that for each 100 people that try to take a course on Coursera, only seven people finish. Why is that happening? So we try to create a different kind of system, a different kind of education system that fix that. And we were trying to gather inspiration from where people were really spending time. So I tried to gather inspiration from red discussions, quota questions, gaming, streamings. A lot of people are spending time over there. And we created something called Platzi. Platzi is online education with that part. We try to bring that community part to online education. We didn't have any money because funding in Latin America is almost non-existent, but we did these on-site courses. We use all the money from the on-site courses to create the platform. This is a platform, and it has all the things that you will normally expect from a platform. It has guides, text, video tutorials, and blah, blah, blah. But interesting things are on the right side. That's our question and answer system. A question in our system is only as big as a tweet. People have to be specific to ask questions. You have nested comments, very similar to a mobile version of Reddit. You have upvotes, downvotes. We also have a system where people can write answers with read text and code without needing to learn Markdown or BB code, just visually. As far as I know, it's the only one. Our first course generated 40,000 questions, and 99.1% were rightfully answered, mostly by the students. We were making the best students answer, and the slow or normal students being leveled up by those best students. We also have live streaming classes. We're using a technology that enables us to do online streaming in PCs, desktops, mobiles, etc. When a teacher wants to share a file, he just drag and drop, the students see it on the corner, and if it's code, it can be selectable, it's color, etc. Also for any kind of file. And the chat, chats are normally useless. But in our system, the students use the chat as an annotation system, and it has stars and upvotes. So the system auto-generates a summary of each class automatically. In three courses, 97% of the students finish everything. We've done three courses so far. So it works. Our system works. How many students have we reached? We've done three courses this year. We had 3,400 students uh, charging $95 to each of them. Right now, we have only done this in Spanish. We are really wondering what happens if we do this in the English world. Well, and what I want to say is that online education is not about technology. It's not even about who's teaching or who's certifying. It's about finding a way to connect students to our students, to create the workshops, the study groups, the things that the students normally do in colleges. And if you want to learn more, if you want to know more about the platform, or you want to say, hey, you are wrong, and education is like this and like that, please contact me over there on Twitter. Thank you very, very much.